very close to the same contour. You know, so I figured on a two and a half inch space here. Let's get this kind of where it's supposed to be there. Like this, I drew a center line on my cardboard. What I wanted the center line on the diff to match up with the with the uh, pinion there, or where the yoke is, and uh, yeah, just uh, you know, just lots of trial and error, <laughs> a ton of it. You can see it's a she's a bit of a pain in the butt to get everything the way you want it, but. Could have possibly made this one longer and then came in straight on there, but I wanted it really contoured looking, you know, so that rocks don't catch on sharp edges. Everything just rolls off. That's my theory. So let's uh, let's see if we can turn this into some diff armor. That's basically what you can see. There, turn that into this. And that should sit somewhat like this. And then it protects the drain plug a little bit more. And you can get at your fill plug there. This was my initial one that I had um, fit, drain plug uh, hole ended up being smaller, you can see, smaller like this one. So you know, you're basically, you're fitting and you're fitting and you figure this is where the hole needs to be, but it doesn't, it needs to be more over here, you know, so. Uh, it just takes a lot of trial and error, but this is the this is the end result one I want right here, and it fits it, it fits the the diff really good. Hugs are really nicely, so we're gonna attempt to make this out of steel.
how I plan to do my bends. I'm going to drill a series of quarter inch holes to remove some of the metal to make it easier to bend using a quarter inch bit. Let's, uh, let's try this out. and just start bending it slightly and try and match it up to the same angle as the cardboard cutout. Here you can see I'm starting to bend the metal here and I'm just putting it in the vise and, and bending it by hand. Now, yeah, once you're starting to take shape, I might have to take my cutting disc and cut it in here just a little bit to get it to shape up, but it's getting there. It's coming around. Let's go bend some more. Coming together. Bend this down a little more yet. how it fits. Okay, so I've got her fitting uh, pretty darn close I think now. Just maybe some minor grinding to fit it. But I want to close up this gap here. So I'm going to just put a little tack here, a little tack here, and it'll, it'll suck it together. The same thing with here. And I'll start with a little tack here and it'll pull it and another little tack. Hopefully it'll pull it together for me some. Let's try it. Now there will be a bunch of welding, you know, to weld up all these holes. I'll probably leave some of them for drain holes. And then I'll, uh, you know, this will get welded around the drain plug so that there's nothing. The drain plug doesn't even sit there so rocks can't rip it off or nothing. I'll weld this to the front by the uh, third member, where the third member gets bolted on, weld it here and here, here and here, just a little bit because I don't want to get my gasket or the bearing or anything in there hot, so I'm just going to do a little bit here, you know, and then weld here, here, you just weld all over. Put my ZE in here, my little emblem. And we'll see how she works out. Okay, now that we got this 
packed up and pulled together a little bit. We'll just do a final fit on everything. Okay, so I just gotta, around the axles, I gotta grind these out a little bit more on both sides to get the, it to sit down more so I can get more weld up in here around the, around the axle. I'll just clean this up. I got her all fitted nice, so now it's time to weld her up. And there's going to be a lot of welding here. So you can see that I left these holes down here and use them as a drain hole just so you can wash mud and, and dirt out of there. I don't know if them holes are going to need to be any bigger or not, but that's what we're going to do. Now I'll just let it cool off and grind it all off. Try and plasma in my little emblem. And we'll shoot some paint on it. Uh, welder to the diff. white behind there. That's what you'll see. Should be cool.
So there you guys have it, diff armor. And for some of you that don't know why you build diff armor, it's because these rear plates here are really thin. So uh, build three sixteenths plate diff armor, and uh, that protects that light uh, that light back cover for you know backing into rocks or coming off of a rock and hitting it here. That uh, you know you can cave that back cover in real super easy. Um, just on a rock and then it'll, you know, you'll cave the back end in to the ring gear and then you're going to chew a hole in there and leak and do all kinds of damage. So that's what we feel good on the report. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching Zuki Evolution. Please subscribe and share and leave some comments below. Hit the little bell so you can be notified on future episodes. Thanks for watching.